so we were looking at uh, data structure interview question and answer so let us continue the 26th question what is data abstraction data abstract abstract means something which is a uh, kind of hidden or abstracted or has a clear distinction so data abstraction is a powerful tool for breaking down the complex data problems into manageable chunks this is applied by initially specifying the data objects involved in the operation to be performed on these data object without being overly concerned with how the data objects will be represented and stored in memory you uh, can understand it like this if this is the data we can break it down in terms of maybe they they there may be complex data so you divide it in the form in which you can manage it so this is uh, for the time being this is data abstraction you know there is a whole theory in object oriented you know analysis what about uh, data abstraction but we are not going to see that right now 27th is how do you insert a new item in the binary search tree how do you insert you have a binary search tree and you know what binary search tree is on the left side of a node or the left sub tree all the members are less than the this node it can be a root node or any other node in between and the right sub tree all the members would have number which is greater than how you are going to insert a new item so just assume that a data to be inserted is a unique value that is um, it is not already existing in the tree so first what we do we check first if the tree is empty first we have to check whether the tree is empty or not if it's empty we have to just insert a new node a new item in the root root node this is the root node we will add this item but if it it's not empty which is often the case we we'll refer to the new item key if it is smaller than the root key we insert it onto the roots left sub tree otherwise we insert it onto the right uh, sub tree and this is recursive whenever um, the time which it reaches to the uh, correct point 28 how does a selection sort work for an array selection selection sort is a very good uh, technique of sorting the array or values so in this uh, we select this uh, you know there are various type of selections um, sort insertion sort there are various type of sorts merge sort and radix sort etc what selection does is it is not very efficient but uh, intuitive so to perform this the smallest element element is first located and this is switched with the element at subscript 0 thus there by placing the smallest element in the first position so what we do here is we take the smallest one from this one we search for the smallest and so you know how to search the smallest element in the list and we we transfer it to the first position right then the smallest element remaining in the sub array is then located next which is the subscript one you have one to uh, n minus 1 value so you select the next smallest one and you place it here and likewise right so these steps are repeated in the same manner till we reach the last element this is how we perform selection sort 29th is how do signed and unsigned numbers affect memory signed and unsigned numbers affect memory if you have a signed number sign number means you have minus sign in front you can have minus sign also so both um, in this uh, just consider it to be a number list okay this is zero so you have values on the right side also you will have values on the left side side also so if it is signed that there is a possibility of negative number also the first bit is used to indicate whether it is positive or negative which leaves you with one bit short because this bit will be used for the sign while with this unsigned number what happens you have all bits available for that number so the effect is best seen in the number for example if you have unsigned 8 bit number it has a range 0 to 255 while the 8 bit sign number will have a range from minus 128 to 127 so here you can go up to 255 here you can go up to 127 30 is what is the minimum number of nodes that a binary tree can have binary tree minimum number of nodes binary tree can have minimum minimum of zero nodes null which occurs when the node has a null value so you don't even have any you don't want any number it is not it is also possible to have a null value in one node and term it as a binary tree and uh, you know that binary tree can also have one or two nodes what are dynamic data structures dynamic data structures these are the structures that are able to expand and contract as the program is running so this provides a flexible means of manipulating data because it can adjust according to the size of the data these are dynamic data structures like linked list 32 in what data structures are pointers applied in what data structures are pointers applied pointers that are used 
uh, these are used in linked list have various application in data structure okay where this is asking about the application so data structures that make use of this concept this are stack and queues and linked list and binary tree 33 is do all declaration statements result in a fixed reservation in memory right uh, most of the declaration they do they fix this reservation of memory but with the exception of pointers pointer declaration does not allocate memory for data but for the address of the pointer variable not for the data but the address of the pointer variable actual memory allocation will only be done at the time of running so runtime allocation is there what are arrays we have known about arrays these are the conti contiguous storage of certain values and these values are integrated and they are of same data type so when dealing with array data is stored and retained using an index which is array subscript in programming language that actually refers to the element number in the data sequence so this is a data sequence so which means that the data can be accessed in any order you can have a10 a20 etc so in programming an array is declared as a variable having a number of index elements like a say a 10 so this can be an array okay right and this can be of any data type 35 is what is the minimum number of queues needed when implementing a priority queue of course you have two, uh, two because um, one is for queue and one is for priority so the minimum number of queues needed in this case is two one queue is intended for the sorting priorities while the other queue is intended for actual storage of the data 36 is which sorting algorithm is considered the safest which is the safest we have various sorting algorithm like quick sort double sort balloon sort ready sort merge sort etc insertion sort selection sort so not all, not one can be considered as the fastest because each algorithm is designed for a particular data structure and data set so it depends on the data set that you want you would want to store sort like uh, you can say order of login is good but it again depends on the usage stack and array how can you differentiate between these two stack and array data that is stored in stack they follow this last and first sort pattern that means the data access follow sequence where the last data to be stored you can extract this data only while in arrays on the uh, on the uh, different hand it does not follow this kind of pattern you can access just by referring to the indexed element within the array 38 is so what is the basic uh, algorithm for searching binary search tree what is the basic algorithm for searching this is how we search in the tree first we find that tree is empty or not the target is not there we end the search if the tree is not empty the target is in the tree we check for the root if the target is not in the root we see the target is smaller or larger than root value if it is smaller we go to the left otherwise we go to the right what is dq 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 is nothing but a double ended queue double ended queue so this is a structure wherein element can be inserted and removed from any from rear also and from start also what is bubble sort and how do you perform it bubble sort the way bubble um, in the water it comes or it it finds its path from the bottom to the up bottle this bubble sort is a sorting technique which can easily be applied to data structures such as array you just compare the adjacent element and try exchanging them if they are out of order so this method lets the smallest value to bubble to the top of the list while the larger value sinks to the bottom what are the parts of linked list what are the parts it has two parts one is the head first of all and the tail the head has the um, the head and tail they lie the actual nodes with each node being linked to a sequential manner and uh, you have a header which points or which contains the the address of the node and this node in uh, in inside contains the data and the address to the next node how does selection sort work selection sort uh, you know we have just seen that it works just by picking the smallest number from the list and placing it in the front we have seen the, seen a question like that just now so this process is repeated for the second position towards the end of the list and this is a simplest sort, sort of algorithm what is a graph graph again it is a type of data structure that contains a set of ordered pairs graph has ordered pairs two values so these ordered pairs are also referred to as edges or arc like this so these are edges and uh, are used to connect nodes these are nodes these are nodes that can be stored and retained. 44 is uh, differentiate linear from non-linear data structure. So linear data structure. This is a data structure where data elements are adjacent to each other. 
For example, you have arrays, linked lists, tags, and queues. While the non-linear data structure is structured wherein each data element is connected to more than one adjacent element. For example, trees and graphs. So this is the difference between linear and non-linear data structure. What is an AVL tree? AVL tree. So this is essentially a binary tree only, binary search tree that has a special uh, balancing uh, equation means condition. So a balance is measured as a difference between the height of the subtrees from the root. Subtrees from the root. So this cell balancing tree uh, was known as the first data structure to be designed as such. Cell balancing tree. That is why AVL is so famous. Minus one or one one. If this difference goes to minus one or one, the tree will balance itself. What are doubly linked list? Doubly linked list. These are again special type of linked list uh, wherein traversal across the data elements can be done in both directions. Means these are these are the nodes of linked list. You can travel like this. You can travel like this. So this is made possible by having two links because this will contain the address of the previous one and the address of the next one. What is Huffman's algorithm? Huffman's algorithm. Huffman's algorithm is associated in creating extend, extended binary trees that has minimum weighted path length from the given weight. Huffman's algorithm is associated in creating extended binary trees that has minimum weighted path length for the given weights. So what it does is it, it makes use of a table that contains the frequency number of times of occurrence of each data element. What is Fibonacci or Fibonacci search? This search is again a search algorithm that applies to a sorted array only. It also uses divide and conquer approach that can re greatly reduce the time needed in order to reach the target element. Explain recursive algorithm. A function when it calls itself, it is a recursive algorithm. So recursive algorithm targets a problem by dividing it into smaller manageable, uh, manageable subparts or subproblems. The output of one recursion of, after processing one subproblem becomes the input for the next recursive process. 50 is how do you search for a target key in a linked list? You know, this will follow a sequential search only. To find a target key in a linked list, you have to apply sequential search, sequential search only. Each node needs to be traversed and compared with the target key. And if it is different, then follow the link to the next node. So this trans or traverse will continue until the target key is, tree is found or if the last node is achieved or reached. So these were our 50 top questions of uh, data structure. We'll be covering more. Thank you so much. Take care.